Okay, hi, Paul Begley here, breaking in. We've got some breaking news out of Egypt now. Plus, I've got two, article, two more articles to read to you as well. But Egypt, breaking in, I want to thank Reverend Gary of um, Kentucky mm. for getting this information to me. This might be a day, I may, I may be just absolutely glued, and that's why I'm doing these YouTube videos this morning. I'll be live on radio at Liberty Broadcasting Network this afternoon from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then live tonight on blogtv.com from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to do also one, I'm going to do another two-hour TV show tomorrow night. And then that's, that'll be it for the week unless something just major happens. Major, major happens, okay? But anyway, uh, let me go right here. Cairo, Egypt. This is CNN reporting. Fresh violence has broke out in and around Cairo's Tyra Square again this morning, Tuesday, November the 22nd, 2011. And this is the day also that John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Just keep that in mind. This is that day in history back in um, 1963 when he was assassinated. Now, fresh violence breaking out after Egypt's cabinet Egypt's cabinet submitted its resignation to the nation's military-led government. That's not what the people want. The people don't want the cabinet to resign. The people want the military council to resign. And the Bible says that the military council will be destroyed. That's biblical prophecy. Who said it? Isaiah did. When? 3,000 years ago in chapter 19, verse 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it says, the burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord will ride upon a swift cloud. There shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, every one against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. We saw Hosea Mabark gone. And I will destroy the counsel thereof. It's going to happen. And they shall seek the idols to the charmers, to them that have familiar spirits and to wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over to a hand of a cruel Lord, a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. They're going to get rid of the council. They got rid of Hosea Mubarak. It said they would. Then it says they would get a military council, which they have. It's a five general military council. It says that that council will be destroyed and they will get a new king, a fierce, a cruel lord, a fierce king. He may be called a president or a prime minister. I don't know what they'll call him, but he will be cruel. He will be fierce. And he's either coming from the Muslim Brotherhood or the Hamas. Trust me. Trust me. Guaranteed. Trust me. It's going to happen according to the biblical prophecy of the prophet Isaiah. Now, here's what the scripture says. So, hours after, or here's what the news article says on CNN. So, hours after Egypt's cabinet submitted its resignation to the nation's military-led government, multiple people have suffered injuries in intense early morning clashes, according to the CNN staff on site. And it's not Anderson Cooper. Because they punched him in the head 10 times last time he was there. If you'll notice, though, if you'll notice, you're not watching it live this morning on MSNBC. You're not watching it live on CNN. It's not live on CBS. It's being put on the websites, but they're refraining because they're more worried about this stupid super Congress of 13. It can't get a thing done. I mean, this is another massive failure of the Obama administration and the, the Republicans and the Democrats. I'm not political law. It just shows you the incompetency of the leaders. But anyway, uh, let me go on. The, there was ambulances could be seen in the video rushing and in and out of the square, which serve as the hub of the movement that led to the ouster of nine months ago of longtime President Jose Mubarak and is now a center for protest against military rules. Tuesday's violence marks the fourth straight day of clashes. Four straight days, folks. Clashes between security forces who work for who? 
the military council of Egypt, and the protesters, which are the civilians, days ahead of the November 28th parliamentary election. What's going to happen? Do you actually think this election is going to happen? No, because they want to get rid of the military council. I mean, I've got to keep preaching this and prophesying this and preaching this and prophesying this because we're living in the days the Bible told us would happen. Meanwhile, oh, give me one second. I just, I mean, you got to stay with us, I guess. We just have no choice. We really have no choice, folks. We just don't have any choice. We just got to stay with this thing. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. And plus, here's what else is going on. Should I show you the footage of that? Um, let's see. Jordanians, President Ab Abdullah, you know, he's, okay. Iran is, flies some Pakistani, or excuse me, Iran flew some Palestinian terrorists into Syria to help raids with Israel. That's being reported today. And also, Muammar Gaddafi's son, he's 39 years old. His name is Saif al-Islam. Saif al-Islam. Uh, he's been captured, and uh, they're holding him in the southern part of the desert. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to be doing some interrogation as it relates to him and where's all the money and all that. So, okay, so we'll let them guys work that out. But anyway, let's run back here to Egypt now because I think it's critical information for you. I guess I'm going to show you this. We're going to use the Paul Bagley technology, so hang on. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Paul Bagley technology. What? What? Paul Bagley technology. I don't want to spill my coffee. Okay, I'll hurry on here. Hang with me, folks. Hang with me. Hang with me. Paul Bigley Technology. Is this how this works? Okay. Wow, I should just flip that around. What in the world? Wow. All right. Hang on. Let me just click this button and let's see if we can see this. Here we go, from Egypt. I haven't watched this video either, so... First time for all of us. Are you going to show it to us, guys? What? What's wrong with CNN? Are you serious, CNN? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious?